Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a wig using a sewing machine. So before we jump into this video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Share this video if you know anyone that is interested in making wigs, trying to learn how to make wigs, definitely share this video. I'm just gonna get right into it. As you see, I laid out all the tools that we'll be using today. So really quick, I'll go over everything. Now I do have a video where I went over all the tools that you'll need for creating a wig and I'll leave the link to that video down below. So definitely check that out. But let's just go over these tools real quick. So I have my bobbin. I absolutely hate spinning my bobbin. So definitely I always have a bunch of bobbins on hand. I purchased these from Amazon and they're just pre-threaded little bobbins. And these are for the Sanger Edition sewing machine. So, and then I have a couple different pair of scissors just because there's a couple different things that I may need to cut. So I like having different options for scissors. And then I have my combs. So in all of my custom units, I make sure to sew combs in um, the wig for my customers. Now that's totally optional. Some people, they prefer combs. Some people don't like combs. But for me, my preference is always combs. They just help to secure the wig a little bit more. All right, and of course we have our bundles here. Beautiful, beautiful bundles. So for this unit, my client, she didn't want a super, super full unit. So I'm gonna use two and, and then I have a half a bundle over here to the side. So I'm gonna use about two and a half bundles. This is gonna be a 12 inch unit. So a short unit. And, and of course here I have the wig cap. Now I did go ahead and sew on the closure already and I did draw out my guidelines. If you guys want a detailed tutorial on that, I'll also leave the link down below where I created a wig from start to finish and I showed you guys how to sew on your closure and draw your guidelines. Okay y'all, so the very first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to sew on my combs on the, um, at the nape of the unit. So I'm going to be sewing them down at the bottom. Okay guys, so the very first thing that I am actually going to be doing is I'm going to sew on these combs at the bottom of the unit. So combs will be sewn down here, which is why I started my, if you see, I started my lines up here. I didn't start them all the way down here because that's actually where I'm going to sew on the combs in the inside. So I'll turn it inside out and I'm just going to place the combs where I want them to be. And for this wig, the combs will go like right at the nape of the neck. So I'll just start by doing that. And you want to try to get them as low as possible to the bottom of the cap. You don't wanna go too low to where you're not sewing onto the cap, but you definitely want to try to get it as low as you can. And for this part, you definitely want to go slow because if your needle gets caught in these little um, wire teeth, it could break your needle. So you'll have to change out your needle. So when I sew on the combs, I definitely 
go super slow. And I take my time because I don't feel like changing out of needles. I will if I have to, but I really don't want to, so. And you see I'm going super slow. Like I'm pressing down very slow. And then I'm just going to reverse. So the reverse button right here, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna reverse my stitch. And you could reverse it a couple times. Usually I do it about two to three times just to secure that stitch. And then I'll just sew all the way down. So I've sewn the combs onto the wig and I cut all the excess string. I've cut all the excess string. And as you see, I sewed them all the way at the bottom. So now I'll be able to sew my first track on and I shouldn't have any issues. So we'll just start sewing and for this wig I'm actually going to do the single track method I'm not going to double my tracks just because it's a it's a shorter length and I won't really need to double my tracks because this client she doesn't want a super super thick full unit she wants more of a natural look so I'll be just using single wefts for this unit And basically, I am just lining up my track with my guidelines that I've created. And I'll just begin sewing. Like, really and truly, when you start, like, the key to learning how to sew, make a wig, the key to learning how to make a wig using a sewing machine is actually learning how to work the machine because once you learn how to work the machine everything else would will you know just be smooth it'll be easy sailing once you actually learn how to use your machine and the thing about sewing machines i like to use the sanger brand but each machine kind of works different so definitely learning your machine is plays a big part in being able to construct a wig or whatever it is that you're trying to make using a sewing machine. So I'll just bring this up a little closer. So I'll just start sewing. And of course, in the beginning, I'm going to reverse my stitch just to secure it. get closer to the end I like to go ahead and cut my track and then I'll just and 
Voila, we have one track sewn on. All right, so this is how the first nice clean stitch. And you're just gonna do the same thing all the way through. Use your guidelines to line up your track. I like to push it inside, line it up with the needle. Lower your little lever. And then lower your needle and begin sewing. So sometimes I do sew a little fast. Just go at your own pace. If you are slower starting out, that is totally fine. It's better to be slower and um, be sure you don't make any mistakes. We're just trying to go fast. And sometimes I just like to lift up the hair just to make sure that I'm still on those guidelines. Second track is sewn on. First three tracks are sewn on. And we just gonna continue on all the way through doing this same exact method. Like Okay, we ran out of thread, so let me show y'all how to switch out your bobbin really quick. Got my pack of bobbins. I purchased these from Amazon. crazy that some of them is broke wow. wow Amazon and I don't even Yeah. 
all right guys so we are done with this wig and now i'm just going in and cutting the extra cap that is um under the lace so just make sure when you're doing this part make sure you just take your time be really careful use smaller scissors i see that um smaller scissors actually help a little better and just take your time that's all i can say because y'all i've cut the lace so many times but anyway so i am going to probably do another video or a live or something and show you guys the final look how i styled this unit but the wig is done so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and i'm out bye guys <laughs>